Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are taking a look at Victor Richards and Nexilla, Rubiel Mosquera. And you guys have been requesting this one time and time again. And you can probably hear the tone of my voice that I'm not too, too excited about this one. Victor Richards, guys, he, he competed back in the early 80s. Couple of times, maybe once, what, what, or, I don't know, NPC level. I don't know how many times. But then he just, he grew. He got huge. He got massive. But he never did compete. So, the reason why I'm not too excited about this is there's not many pitchers to go by. But we'll, we'll begin. And right out of the shoot, we don't have a full front double by of Victor Richards in his prime. Now, take your pick. I don't know what year this would be. He was big for years and years. He was huge. I believe they called him Mr. Big, but there's a definitely a, a difference from his prime time. I mean, those wheels, they don't look too skinny next to Rubio Mosqueras. Actually, they look... No, no, they're not bigger. They're definitely smaller. They're smoother, too, I would suggest. He never really got peeled. Peeled, so to speak. But you can see he had so much potential, it was coming out of his ears. It's a single arm bicep, of course, but you can see, you can gauge where he really did have some, some huge guns. And like I said, guys, this was his prime, and it was obvious, because this was Victor Richards years later. And still very impressive, taking nothing away from the man, Victor Richards. His upper body, still same, I would suggest same but his lower half his legs look like they dwindled away and if you were just to look at this picture you could probably think geez he's got pretty big legs doesn't he mark max muscle well yeah, yeah, yeah. not compared to his younger self now just to not run his name through the dirt here victor richards i like this guy he's an interesting man the more you dig uh, dig up on his uh, history things of that nature but you can see, upper body alone, he was incredible. He wasn't just a great big ball of muscle. Incredible waistline. Awesome. Looks tremendous. Now, like I said, he did compete. And this is him way back when. And he his legs weren't huge. But if you think of the year, it was probably early 80s. 83, if I'm not mistaken. Competed in an NPC show. I mean, his legs were huge for the time, but nothing in comparison to Rubiel Nexilla. And here's a front lat spread. We'll we'll go right into this pose with the uh, 83 version, I think it is. But the, the camera angle's tilted. Can't really tell. And the comparison itself doesn't make much sense. Okay, well, here is a photo shoot of Victor. That is all he has. There was a few guest posings, you know, you get the FIFA guest posing, but the angles were all so off that it would be pointless to judge or to make your opinion on it or give your opinion on it. I'm not a judge. I'm not a doctor. Here is the turn to the side. Is that what Greg Doucette says? I'm not a doctor. Yeah. Could be a doctor. You could get your PhD there, uh, Greg Doucette. Now, guest posings. This is obviously a photo shoot. Maybe he was doing guest posings around the same time. He was about the same shape here in this pose. Now, the wheel, unbelievably huge. But it is very smooth. Very smooth. And I'm sure for a normal human, it would take dieting to get as lean as this guy was. And that that's kind of funny when you think about it. Here is the one and only back shot we have, and sizing, a little bit difficult. I think he's shorter, obviously, I think he's shorter than, uh, than Rubiel, but look at how he's holding his legs, much straighter. So he would probably end up being taller in this shot. Good solid back, not bad at all. So like I said, he wasn't just a great big muscular man, he was full of... You know, a little of this, a little of that. A couple of goodies here. Vacuum pose. Good back. Good lat insertions. So at the end of the day, I I warned you guys. Not the best in the way of comparisons. Now, if he had have competed, I think this guy's legs would have been huge. Massive. But I... Tell me if I'm wrong. 
He just seems like the type of guy. Okay, we're going to end with the crab position. He just seems like the type of guy that didn't really have his heart invested in being a competitive bodybuilder. I think he liked to be huge. He made money. Like I said, he did guest posing. He'd probably charge some fees for some guest posings and whatever have you, gyms, things of that nature. I mean, the guy just, like I said, did not have it in his heart. And you have to have it. Obviously, he dieted to get as lean as he was, and that was, didn't care to go any leaner. It's not easy. It's not easy to get into the deep end of the, the diets to get as lean as these guys are. Eileen, that's funny. She works at IHOP. Have a great one, guys. Well, come on, subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not already. And if you would like to, you know, check out my latest video as well. And there is a playlist if you want to really help me out. You could watch a bunch of videos as well. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, come on, Billy!